right, thank you everyone for your patience. We are now joined by goalkeeper Matt Bersano, who scored the game-winning penalty and saved the last one as well. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into questions, starting with Jamin Moore. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. Thanks, Thanks for taking time, time to join us tonight. tonight. You, know, you, know, you, you are the hero. hero. Does, does it get, get any better, better for a keeper, keeper than to save the other, other keeper's keeper penalty, penalty and, and then get to, to, to step, step up and take, take your own, own uh, and, and to win, win a game? game. I'm, not I'm not sure, sure there's a better script for a goalkeeper out there. I would have loved to get a save earlier in that game. I felt like I was inches away from probably four of them. Uh, but once you hit kicker eight or nine and you feel like it's kind of heading that way, uh, all I could do was, was hope that, had, that one of those got saved and eventually I would be able to just line up and, and take it how I wanted it. Thank you, Matt. Let's go next to Robert Jonas. Yeah, congrats on that, on that result and again moving on to the next round of the tournament, which is uh, you know, always a, an incredible achievement uh, for you. you. You've been on the bench, you know, you've seen uh, you know, a lot of game action uh, from, from the sidelines, but you know, definitely we're, we're getting your opportunities uh, at the USL level at, at Reno when that, was, uh, when that team was available for you. you know, for tonight, you know, um, you know the, the moments weren't just at the end. There were some incredible saves you made, especially at the end of the, the first half. What, um, what, was, uh, what was that uh, game flow like for you? What were you feeling throughout the game as it ebbed and flowed and, and fin finally made it to penalty kicks? So thankfully, uh, I had played the previous Open Cup game as well as the game with the MLS Next Pro team um, the, the, a couple days after that. Because prior to that, I think it was about two and a half years that I hadn't had a competitive match, an official competitive match. And so those are those are tough because uh, you just you just want to like help your team in whatever way you can. And uh, today it was all about kind of keeping attention to detail because we just knew we knew who Sounders were, regardless of who was playing. We knew how they were going to press. We knew things like that. And they're just a relentless team. And at any moment, like it was in the last five minutes of the first half, we were doing everything we possibly could to get into that uh, halftime with the lead because a goal right then, we all know how dangerous that is. And so those moments are just tough uh, for, for a goalkeeper, especially for a backup goalkeeper. Um, you just try your hardest to talk, keep yourself engaged, um, remain <laughs> present, because uh, those, those games can creep away from you, especially when you're not involved for a little bit and then you got some tricky, tricky little plays to end it. So I think, I think those were kind of the, the ways that we handled today. A little bit of rain. Um, I, I don't like getting scored on ever, and so two goals against, uh, regardless of how they went, uh, being so close to saving that free kick, uh, those, those moments, they, they keep you going and they keep you hungry, and then uh, kind of, it, it was, it, getting to the PKs was, was exciting, and I would have, like I said, I would have loved to get a save earlier. I think I deserved it, uh, just not how the day went. We had to get it to the point where I had to kick, so I guess from that perspective, it could, could be worse. Thank you, Matt. We'll take uh, one or two more, uh, starting with Fabian Renkel. Congratulations on the win, and congratulations on your first press conference in a while, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I want to go ahead and ask you one more time, what was going through your head when it, you realized it was just goals and you, you blocked, uh, you just blocked those two saves? Like, walk us frame by frame, what was going through your head? Uh, I've, been, I've been shooting the ball for my whole life. I've been shooting it as much as I've been playing in goal. Uh, Making making the save, I think, was was more difficult, especially with kind of the way he hit it and the fact that it hit my hands and hit part of my face too. Um, but when you when you're lining up to shoot that or whatever, I've done that kick a thousand times. I've gone both ways. I'm, I've, I've I've hit it wherever I need to do to score. So at that point, um, especially playing in Seattle after after starting my career in Seattle in 2016, um, it was kind of just a just a crazy moment, surreal moment to be able to go up and, and strike that in and, uh, and then be able to celebrate with the guys because that was, that was uh, a moment I remember forever, definitely. Thank you, Matt. Our last question comes from Jamin Moore. Hey, Matt, hey, Matt thanks for taking another one. Mm -hmm. um, so the second half did get kind of a little bit you know, hectic for you guys. Um, a lot of the pressure was coming your direction. Rain was coming down. It looked like in front of you the pitch was getting Describe for us uh, what it's like to play in a place like Starfire, such an explosive facility, and it's like 4,000 fans at the whole place. It must feel like home playing some sort of some USL stadium or even college uh, atmosphere. So just tell us what it's like to play in this facility, and then what did the rain kind of do to the pitch in front of you? Thank you. 
Yeah, so um, thankfully I have experience uh, playing at Starfire in 2016. Um, it wasn't, we didn't, we didn't practice much while I was there just because uh, back then the turf wasn't quite as, uh, quite as nice. It was okay today. Um, but the more and more it rains, the slicker it gets and the faster the passes go. Uh, we're a team that prides themselves on trying to play out of the back and, and definitely in the new system, that's kind of the way we've been trying to do it. Um, it's very, very difficult to do that on a field like this. And so you kind of have to change your identity. Uh, I hit way more long balls today than I probably have in my whole career. Um, that's just not kind of the way we do it, but that's the way you had to do it today to get the win, especially with uh, there was a bit of wind in that second half. That was going straight at us. Um, wind, rain, just completely changed the elements on, on how that game was. And then obviously they had the momentum for a good chunk of that. And so we were a bit in survival mode. And that gets that gets real difficult. But uh, the way the guys banded together, uh, the way that we were we were clearing every ball, the way we were, we were getting every every second ball that we could. Um, I mean, we just owe, owe it all to them to, to keep us in that. There was cross after cross after cross, and the center backs were huge. Guys working for working hard to get the second ones. Um, I mean, that's just that's just an ode to the to er, how badly everybody wanted to win. Uh, Seattle is a difficult place to play, regardless of where you play. Um, and their fans, even though there's 4,000 or whatever there, like you, it, is a, it is a presence that is quite incredible. And so um, I'm very thankful to, to, to get the minutes tonight for us to get the win and uh, went a bit longer than we would have liked, but it just made it a bit dr more dramatic. So it is what it is.